Hi everybody. Um, today I was going to finish up uh, some studies that I was working on, um, basically looking at shipping companies in the Seattle area and companies that you might be interested in working with. Um, so basically what I did is I mapped them out and kind of picked ones that looked like they were in uh, more interesting locations. Um, and then looked at some of their websites and kind of saw basically where they are and uh, some details about what kind of shipping they're involved with. Um, so there's a variety of different shipping companies uh, in the Seattle area. Um, you can see that uh, basically most of the shipping is down in here um, on the south side, but there's basically uh, some shipping companies all the way down into here and uh, certainly down into uh, uh, the Tacoma area. While I didn't really look at the Tacoma area, there's actually maybe even more shipping uh, being done, uh, at least by sea, uh, down in Tacoma, as we studied uh, in the earlier presentation that I did. Um, but uh, here we're getting into more of the details. Um, so if you go zoom in, um, you can start to, start to see uh, some of the shipping companies. You have to research for them. Um, and then there isn't actually um, a whole lot of uh, ones that are visible on the map, um, at least this way. So, um, but uh, there are interesting, you can kind of start looking at some of the buildings here, uh, and then you start to see where the office spaces are uh, close to the shipping docks uh, and some other areas. Uh, the other interesting way to look for uh, the shipping companies is by Street View. Down here in the lower right corner, you can click on a little uh, browse Street View images. Um, you can kind of see um, if you press your mouse over the area, you can see the low the different the different images, and then you can kind of uh, walk through the areas. Um, I was personally surprised. Um, it's pretty industrial here, and there's not a whole lot of offices and spaces in here um, working. Um, in addition to just the freight containers. Um, so there's just a lot of storage going on here uh, with the Port of Seattle. Uh, so one of the interesting things about the uh, Elliott Bay Seattle, Port of Seattle um, is that it's kind of divided up into these terminals. Um, so you can see on this map here, um, Terminal 5, 18, and so on. Um, and these other ones back in here. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but basically, um, that's the main map. I was surprised to see that uh, I couldn't find a port maps uh, for truckers or any kind of entrance and exit maps outside of this uh, this Northwest Seaport Alliance for uh, Seattle and Tacoma. But it is pretty nice if you click on these links here, you can see how to get. Um, so like the main terminal um, that I would it'd probably be terminal number five. Um, it's pretty easy to get on and off of. This one is a little bit more confusing, terminal number 18. So you can see, kind of cross check, this is terminal 18. Uh, so just look at terminal 18 really quick. It takes a little while for the image to load. Um, but uh, you can see basically, so this is the entrance here. Now you drive through here, and then you can either go this way, um, or you can go through this way, and they have some other entrance here, it looks like. Um, and then the exit is somehow over here. So uh, not sure exactly how this works, but uh, it looks like you can um, get on and off uh, through, <laughs> through here somehow. But uh, it is a map um, to get started on this. This one was a little bit, Terminal 5 is a little more easier to understand. Um, it takes a little while for these images to load, but you see entrance, exit, so you basically have to go past the same place and then Terminal 5 kind of drives through here and drive uh, out. So Terminal 5 is this this one here, so you can kind of see you go in here and then exit. Uh, but uh, hopefully that's helpful to see. Um, I'll post this link on the video's websites. Here's a pretty good diagram showing the overall terminals. So you can see Terminal 5 is pretty huge um, just with all the cargo uh, that they unload here and the ships and things, but also Terminal 18 is pretty big. Um, and then they have Terminal 30, which looks pretty cool actually for businesses. There might be some office areas and 
some other ways to get connect up with the shore here um, so you can just walk to like a restaurant or something like that uh, so i wanted to bounce back to the marine traffic maps which are pretty nice um so we can basically look down here at the port of seattle um and i'll zoom in here to see um, and it's going to shut off the traffic but we can add a layer here with the uh, actually vessels and then ship type and then enable all the vessels so you can start to see some of the ships that are in the port right now um, and this is late at night um, so uh, it's about 11 p.m. on a Monday so you can see there's couple ships in here now these actually are tugboats so the blue are tugboats and the green is a cargo vessel um so we got a ship from beijing in here looks like and you can see what it looks like costco shipping uh, z beijing container ship um, so that's kind of interesting and then there's one other one here which looks to be another container ship um, and its destination was Seattle so and then uh, some guy sitting out here um, but you can just kind of get an idea for what these all are all about uh, but the tugboats basically take them back in here it looks like another big ship uh, it doesn't really doesn't really give us that good information right now for some reason but Maybe in the future we'll load. So there's quite a number of ships already in the port right now. There's one, two, three, at least four uh, docked up, and then a fifth waiting out here. And they're all cargo, uh, but you can see at least two of them on Terminal 18, which we saw. Um, so you can kind of see these are the terminal. We're looking at Terminal 18 and 5 um, as the marine traffic map. So uh, anyway. Uh, so one interesting thing is that on the marine map it shows uh, marine services right down here. It says Harley Marine Services, but that actually forwards to Centerline, uh, which is their company. You can kind of see some of their stuff that they're doing here. Um, but uh, there's a number of different uh, things that they've done. But they've basically are out of Seattle, but they can you can see their Centerline Logistics Corporation, Seattle. I think it looks like some other facilities out in Hawaii, maybe even in LA and some other areas. Uh, so one of the reasons I really like Centerline Logistics here is because they're located right here. So you can see they got like a really nice spot um, right on the water here. Um, and they probably own all these tugboats or something. I don't know exactly what the deal is, um, but it looks like a pretty cool little spot um, if you look at their building, you can zoom in. So they got a pretty good view of the water here. Um, they got a great parking for their employees, and they got a walk out to the dock, and you can be right here uh, and see what's going on. And then they can get pretty quick access right to the uh, uh, terminal. So they got a pretty premier spot on that uh, facility. So you can see that they're on Terminal 18. Um, they're also located right near the entrance. Uh, I think you can kind of see right right here. So the terminal 18 is where we're looking at. Another company that I thought was really interesting down here is Zim American Integrated. Um, so the reason I really like them is because of a couple reasons. You can see they got pretty uh, huge office space. Um, they also are right next to the docks here. So you can see they got a number of boats. So, you know, it looks like a pretty comfortable place to work at. Um, you can also see EHS International Environmental Coalition. Uh, they got a uh, Harbor Marine Deli and then a, even a Starbucks Technical Center. Um, and then this other company called Tideworks Technology is in this building here. Uh, SSA Marine. So a couple different marine operators in this in this place and as well as some boats so you can maybe have a boat that you can go out on the water with pretty easily it looks like some tugboats are parked back in here as well 
Uh, so I wanted to use Zim's website. Um, it actually is pretty good. Um, I just typed in uh, to check uh, validate something here and I was interested in Santos Brazil to Seattle. It's a pretty complicated trip to do. Um, and then it actually showed me a little link here. It gives me some details about uh, what that might entail. So they actually ship it up to New York City. So you can see it goes from Santos to New York um, because Brazil is on the East Coast. Um, and then from New York, it takes it out to Seattle by uh, land transportation. Uh, so it's interesting to see um, how a shipment like that might work. Uh, it takes about looks like you can see uh, 41 days or they have different uh, 45 days 46 days uh, but you can see different departures and uh, what that might also mean so uh, but anyway uh, pretty interesting just to see basically how this works on Zim's website um, and they got you can see uh, different locations by uh, you know, uh, dry cargo, or you can do uh, shipping areas. Uh, I, I clicked on Asia and Americas um, to see that, um, but a pretty interesting website to take a look at. Uh, so also on this like Southern block is this Tideworks technology. So if you click on them, um, you can see a little bit more about what they're all up to. Um, I'll just load their website here. I've already looked at it a little bit. Uh, but it looks interesting. They're primarily a technology company in global logistics, uh, but you can kind of see some of the stuff that they're doing. Um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, they sell some software uh, for shipping. So I'm just going to go through a number of other websites that looked interesting. Uh, and basically the way I found these was just looked for interesting locations uh, nearby uh, the uh, main terminals that we discussed. Um, so basically, you know, in this area, along in here, and then I looked uh, basically all the way over here, and then I also looked up into Pioneer Square. Um, so most of these businesses are in those locations, so pretty close to these areas. So there was Interbay Transport Logistics. Looks like they do some car transport. Um, these guys look pretty cool too. SSL uh, shipping. Uh, and actually one of my favorite ones was these guys for just a small company. They looked pretty cool. They did, uh, they're called Spirit Forwarders. They're kind of just over by uh, the uh, Pioneer Square, maybe just a little bit north and west of there. But um, And then uh, another big company um, is this Hamburg Sud. Um, and then uh, Hanjin was also located in these areas. Um, they had a pretty cool website. Um, and uh, Maxim Petroleum, which looked like they had a small little, or I don't know what size office, but it looked like it was an office there. Um, and then Flexivan uh, looked interesting. Um, SSA Marine, uh, you can see some pictures that they have. Um, and CMA, CGM, and they look like they did a lot of food, interestingly. Um, shipping in and out of the ports there um, and I think what is this guy uh, Shipazon so kind of a funny name uh, but they got uh, some shipping there here in uh, Seattle uh, and then of course there's Zim again and then Centerline um, which actually should be looked at pretty carefully but I think they're primarily uh, barges and tugboats and some different things um, but they certainly do work with uh, a lot of the shipping companies in the area. There's a picture of the Tideworks technology. Uh, and then marine traffic map is just a marine traffic map showing all the shipping going on in the area. And you can kind of see uh, some of that on this. And then here's more central line logistics. And then the terminal maps. Uh, and some other things so anyway i hope you've really enjoyed this presentation about what's going on in the seattle uh, shipping industry at the terminal here at the port of seattle 
Uh, let me know if you got some suggestions or ideas. Uh, I'm sure I missed a lot of companies uh, that are uh, located in here, uh, probably even in Pioneer Square um, and around this whole harbor area. But it was fun to study this, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks a lot.